Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all doing really well today. Happy December. This is my first Vlogmas video and I'm so excited to be doing some extra content for you guys in December this year. And I thought we would kick off the December content by making some Christmas stockings. These are a really quick and easy sewing project to make. So if you're new to sewing, this is definitely something that you can do. So let me show you all of the stockings that I will be making in this video. So this is the first one. This is in this beautiful mistletoe print from Rifle Paper Company with this really pretty gold effect. I hope that comes across on camera. And I added this velvet ribbon to it and I really like the contrast of the red ribbon with this fabric. So that's the first one. And then another Rifle Paper Company fabric is the Nutcracker print fabric. And I did this one with a little bit of a baker's twine trim, which I just think is super cute. So that is the regular size stocking and I also made these cute little mini stockings and I will be using these for gift cards or chocolate bars, small Christmas gifts like that. So I will have templates for both of these for free over on my website. So if you'd like to download those, those will be linked down below, but let's go ahead and jump in and make these Christmas stockings. The two fabrics that I'm using for this project are both from the Rifle Paper Company Holiday Classics line, and these are the cotton and linen canvas. I like a little bit of a heavier fabric for making Christmas stockings, but you could definitely use like a quilting cotton or whatever you have on hand. So I'm starting out by assembling my template and you can download this over on my website. It just takes four pages to print out and it makes a really nice size for a Christmas stocking. So once I had that all taped together, I went ahead and cut this out twice from my main fabric. So I just have my fabric folded in half here so that when I cut this out, I'm cutting out two pieces of the stocking. I have one yard of each of my fabrics, but I really only needed half a yard. You'll see I have a lot left over after I finish this, and I'm going to use the leftover of this one to make a cute Christmas pillow. I've gone ahead and cut two more pieces from my lining fabric. This is just a plain white cotton muslin. And for the lining, I'm going to go ahead and trim away about one half of an inch from the top of the lining pieces. And this is just going to make sure that this all stays turned towards the inside and we don't see any of that lining showing on the outside of the stocking. So with that done, I'm going to give all of my pieces a quick press and then we're ready to start assembling. So the first step is to place the outside fabric together with the right sides together and then I'm going to sew all the way around the outer edge with a one quarter inch seam allowance. So I'm just going to go ahead and pin all the way around the outside of the stocking and of course I want to leave the top open so that this can actually hold something once it's sewn together. And while I'm at it I'm going to go ahead and pin together the lining fabric as well and repeat the same process on the lining fabric sewing around the outside using a one quarter inch seam allowance. Since this fabric is pretty thick, I'm going to go ahead and trim away any excess seam allowance from the outer stocking pieces, and then I can go ahead and turn this right side out. So now I'm ready to go ahead and add a little bit of trim to the stocking. I'm going to sew this on now so that none of the stitches show on the inside of the stocking. That's just the way I prefer to do it. You could definitely sew it on at the end as well. So I've chosen this really cute baker's twine style cord that I found from Michael's craft store. And I'm just going to go ahead and pin a piece of this all the way around the stocking. I'm going to make sure that this can overlap at the end so that I can sew that together by hand without any gaps. And then I can go ahead and trim the the cording. Now I am just sewing this on with one strand of white thread and making sure that I make my stitches only where the white is showing on the baker's twine so that you don't see them on the outside. And then once I get to the end here, I'm just going to carefully pair together the white and red strands of the cording and then sew this down with some hand stitches really securely.
Now before I add the lining, I'm going to quickly make a little hanger for the stocking. So for this, I'm going to use that same cording and I am just measuring out enough to make a cute little loop here. And then I will pin this with the cut edges facing the top of the stocking. So the loop is facing down and I'm going to pin this right next to the side seam of the stocking. So now I'm ready to add the lining and to do this, I'm going to place the outer stocking inside the lining so that the right sides are together. And then I'm going to pin around the top edge. Now, trust me on this, this seems a little bit weird, but this is going to work out really nicely. So we're going to sew around this top edge, making sure to leave a small gap in the stitching, but making sure that we sew over that little hanger so that that is really secure. And as I'm sewing around, I'm just making sure that both of those pieces of cord are really close together so that there's no gaps once I turn this towards the right side. I chose to leave a gap of about three inches on this project and here is where I'm going to turn it towards the outside. I always find this so fun and really satisfying to see how this works together. So I'm going to pull the outer part of the stocking out and then I can start to tuck the lining towards the inside so that the wrong sides are now together and everything looks really clean on the inside of the stocking. So here is what I am now left with. You can see how neat the top of this looks, but we do still have that gap in the stitching that we need to sew up. So this should fold together really naturally. And I'm just making sure that everything looks really good and pinning this in place. And then I'm going to sew this gap closed by hand, making sure that my stitching doesn't go to the outside of the stocking. And then for one final finishing touch on the Nutcracker stocking, I decided to add a little bow to the front. It just seemed like it needed something a little bit extra. So I sewed this on really securely by hand. I assembled the mistletoe print stocking in the exact same way, but I did use a little bit of a different trim. So let me show you how I did that. For this one, I decided to use this beautiful red velvet ribbon. This is also from Michaels. And I did the same thing with the ribbon that I did with the Baker's twine, just measuring out the right amount to go around it and cutting that to size. And then I sewed this on by hand, just using some really tiny stitches. But before I did that, I decided to make a really fun bow for the front of this one. And to do this, I started by taking one strip of the velvet ribbon and folding it into a little loop. Then I secured this closed with some stitches and then made a second loop that I sewed to the top of this. And with the second loop sewed down, I took this little scrap of ribbon and wrapped this around the bow to make it look really cute and finished. And then I just sewed this on on the back. And then finally, I took a longer piece of ribbon and folded this so that both the velvet edges are showing. And then I placed this on the back of the bow and sewed it in place. And then after I trimmed the ends of the bow, I was ready to attach the strip of ribbon to the stocking.
Next, I sewed this bow in place using some hand stitches, and then I just went ahead and assembled the rest of the stocking in the same way as the first one. While I was working on this project, I had a coordinating coffee mug, so I had to show you this. This is what I was drinking my tea out of, and I thought it was so, so cute. I also decided to make some little mini stockings, and I think these turned out so cute. I'm going to be using these for gift card gifting this year, and I think they'll just make that a little bit more special. So I made these in the exact same way that I made the larger stockings, and I will have a template for these over on my website. You'll follow the exact same method here, and I just decided to decorate these with some velvet bows. So here's a quick look at how all four of these stockings turned out. I'm so happy with them and I think the little bit of trim just makes all the difference in making them a little bit more special and I hope some of you guys will try this project out as well. So that is it for the sewing project. It's a really quick and easy one. So I hope some of you guys will try it out if you're still in need of a Christmas stocking or of a cute way to wrap a gift. I think that would be adorable as well. I just love how these turned out and the Rifle Paper Company fabric is so, so cute. In case you missed my announcement yesterday, I will be posting a video every other day until the 23rd. That will be my last upload day for December. So make sure you're subscribed if you are interested in keeping up with all of the projects and videos that I will be sharing over the next couple of weeks. I am so excited. I think I need to deck this background out a little bit more to make it a little bit more festive. So maybe that will be one of my projects for this week. But thank you guys so much for watching and spending your time here on my channel. And I will see you very, very soon. Bye.